Alright, hey guys, Kevin here, and I'm back with more Psychonauts, and I'm in Sasha 9's place, his lab or whatever, and I'm about to talk to him about some sort of advanced training or something. This looks safe to be putting a kid in. Could you try it first? Step up to the brain <laughs> tumbler when you're ready. I do want to see him try it first. What's this hair dryer thing do? Ah, you're ready for the brain That's a big hair dryer. This device we will send you deep into your own psyche where you should find unparalleled. Wait, so I'm going into my own mind now? Excellent. How does that work? Now just relax. Wait, does he always put on his goggles before he goes into somebody's mind? Is that like a special thing? Wait, now his goggles are off. That doesn't make sense. Wow. Is this what the inside of my mind looks like? Not yet. You're still traveling to the astral plane. This is a tiny corner of what we call the collective unconscious, a place in which all of our unconscious minds are connected. You have just begun your training, Rasputin, so many of the connections with other minds are still not developed for you, and those doorways remain just out of reach. But the more you explore the mental world, the more connections you will form. Right now, the only unconscious world you can enter is that one, so your own. These are basically just levels that you unlock, we'll continue. I'm guessing. Can I walk off the edge? No. Oh, but I can jump off. <laughs> Uh, so I guess I just go into that door, and I think I walked the long way around, but that's alright. Wait, is that a picture of a bunny? It is too. And that's a safe, and the tag. Apparently there's bunny. Oh no, they all have bunnies. There's just pictures of bunnies on all these, uh, whatever they're called. Rasputin, can you hear me? Doors. Sasha, where am so I? now is this in my own mind? Yeah. Own mind. I'm not sure where. Tell me, what can Wait, now his goggles were on and he took them off. I see a rundown gypsy caravan. Do you recognize it? I think his yes. goggles are magic. It's where I was born. I see. Wow. Really? It's born in like a gypsy caravan. <laughs> Oh, there's a bunch of figments. Oh, get back here. Oh, there's a save. Rasputin's getaway. Oh, so was I like part of a circus? Wait, am I in there somewhere? I don't see myself. Can't tell if that's actually... Oh, is that me there? The one on the left? I think. So that's him without his helmet, and then there he is in the bottom right with his helmet and goggles. Oh, that's the pamphlet to this camp, I bet. And then he starts reading it. Yeah, it is too. Oh wow, and then my dad tears it up. Because it's distracting me, I guess. World's smallest pony. Am I gonna get away at? Yeah. <laughs> Just book it off with the world's smallest pony. So yeah, I basically ran away to this camp because somebody handed me a pamphlet. Some random guy, like a cloak. Oh, there's another figment. So I guess I go inside of it. Sasha. Oh. Uh, going inside the caravan. That doesn't look very safe. I'm not sure. It's getting uh, I'm stuck. Yep. Uh -huh. Oh. Wait, I'm in an egg. Am I like being reborn or remembering my birth? Wait, was I born in an egg? <laughs> With a bunny, apparently? Okay, so I'm twins. With a bunny, apparently. Somewhere important. Check. Okay. Can I hit it? 
You and I are gonna be Mr. Bun. You go, I go. Like oh, is this? So he's. That's why there's a picture of a bunny beside all the doors. I'm guessing he just like shows you the way or something. Oh, there's a tag. Purse tag. Wait, why is there a purse in my memory? Is there something in my memory that I really don't want to know about? <laughs> Including me in a purse? Oh, the heck? That plant just came alive. And I killed it. Oh, I thought it was still alive. Alright, so basically I'm chasing a bunny through my memory. Is that a piece of... It's like a steak. Oh, and it gives you health. And whatever those arrowhead things are called, I forget. Alright, so just keep following the bunny. And there's another tag. Do I have two bunny? Oh, that's not a bunny. I'm guessing this is gonna be like the first boss. Oh. Alright, the game actually crashed there. And I'm just restarting. I hope it doesn't continue to crash. That's gonna suck for recording. But I'm back, anyways. Down gypsy caravan. Do you recognize it? Yes. It's where I was born. I see. Compelling. Oh, what? <laughs> I'm back to here? Alright, well, I'm actually gonna cut this then. I'm gonna redo this and I'll cut you back to where I was when he pulled me out. See you guys in a bit. Alright, so this time it didn't crash. We need to try that again. And like I said, hope it doesn't keep crashing every time. Or every once in a while, or that would suck. Suit yourself. You know, in many tribal societies, learning to defeat the monsters you see in your dreams is considered a rite of passage. I can train you to fight. Come see me when you're ready. All right. To defeat that big monster. So he's gonna teach me to do a bunch of attacks or something. Is that not what he said? So I guess I'll talk to him and see what he says. Okay. It's no point I'm going all the way. I think I'm really on the other side. Oh, really? Hmm. What? Uh, nothing. It's just that I didn't think you'd really take me up on that <laughs> offer. It usually scares the kids off. Well, not me. I'm ready to kill for my camp. Listen, I'm sorry, but I can't train you. Agent Vodello would kill me. What's the big deal? What she doesn't know won't hurt her. You don't even have a marksmanship learner's permit. I could lose I'm my get job. One, then. I'll get one. Yeah. Even if you use that secret passage over there and snuck into his sanctuary, <laughs> Agent Cruller would never give you a marksmanship learner's permit. Agent Cruller. Never in a million. I'm off. This guy's always we'll finding ways like right to work around the rules. Like I'm not even supposed to be here, but he's like, if you just happen to find my lab, I'll train you. So I gotta go down there. I don't even know how long the episode is now because that crash completely threw off my time. <laughs> so I'm debating whether I should just end it here or if that's going to be a really short episode. Maybe it's already over time though. Well, yeah, I guess I'm going to end it here and then I'm going to go collect a bunch of those cards and whatnot. And then next episode I'll see you guys back here. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.